today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 clothing glitches in GTA 5. Before we do continue on with today's video though, man, shout out to these three legends right here on the screen for simply subscribing to the channel. If you guys want to get a shout out in my next video, man, you already know what to do, man. Just drop a sub to the channel and I'm shouting out my three most recent subscribers. But anyways, though, let's get straight to the video. Also, there are going to be some bookmark jobs in today's video. And if you guys do need to bookmark these jobs, they're all going to be down in the description, such as the jobs of It's a G thing and just some other jobs that you might need to bookmark, like the noose outfit job. But anyways, though, and also one more thing before we get into the video, this video is completely for educational and entertainment purposes only. And none of the glitches in this video give you any illegal advantage or anything like illegitimate advantage. Everything in this uh, video is just for a fun trick, you know, it's nothing even yeah now nah, let's just get to the video bro. so jumping straight into the first glitch in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to get the tan joggers now this glitch is completely easy to do and it's fully solo so what you want to do is make your way to this clothing store right here on the map you guys want to go to your interaction menu go to preferences go down to map lip options and set these stunt races to show once you guys have done this you want to register as a ceo once you guys have now registered as a CEO, go to CEO management and go to style and you want to scroll until you find the warlord outfit. So this one right here, it does have the tan joggers on it. Now walk inside this blue circle and press right d-pad to start the race. Now you want to confirm the settings and press play and just launch the job by yourself. And when you hit this screen right here, go ahead and leave the race. So from here, once you guys load back into online, you want to quickly run inside of the clothing store and press right d-pad to enter any of the shelves just like this now wait about five seconds and it should pick you guys out and then it should give you guys the warlord outfit so as you guys can see right here it has kicked us out and now you guys can go ahead and disband your ceo and you guys can save this outfit at any slot so as you guys can see we have now officially got the tan joggers and it's really as simple as that so yeah as you guys can see you can change anything to this outfit and yes they are real tan joggers these are probably the easiest joggers to get in the game but anyways let's move on to the next clothing glitch for today's video let's get it bro so for this next clothing glitch i'm going to show you guys another pretty easy one which you can make some awesome outfits with so what you want to do is you want to go to any clothing store and you guys want to go to the t-shirt section and you guys want to select any t-shirt that has a logo on it that you guys want to transfer to another outfit or to another t-shirt and yeah we'll be doing the logo transfer glitch that is what this glitch is called so once you guys have chosen your t-shirt with the logo on it you want to choose the t-shirt that you want to transfer that logo to so i'm going to select this pink one right here and the logo that i'm going to be choosing is the skeleton t-shirt one so i'm going to be putting that skeleton t-shirt logo onto this pink t-shirt once you guys have purchased both of these t-shirts you guys want to go to your apartment and you guys want to or yeah, i'm gonna just go to my ceo office but you can go to your apartment and you guys want to go to the wardrobe and hover over the t-shirt with the design on it so you want to be wearing the t-shirt that you want to put the design on but hover over the t-shirt with the design on it once you guys have done this you want to press your pause menu go to online and simply just join a friend or go ahead and join someone from a random crew once you guys have joined this person you want to go ahead and accept all the alerts and just load into their lobby and when you guys do load into their lobby you will see that the logo has merged onto this t-shirt and the glitch is as simple as that so this next glitch i'm going to show you guys how to get invisible arms this is one of the easiest glitches in the game and it's actually super quick to do so make your way to any clothing store and come up to the counter right here you want to scroll down to diamond casino heist outfits and then you guys want to go to refuse collectors and select the first one called the pickup once you guys have selected this outfit right here, go over to the shirt section and scroll to overcoat blazers and then select no top. And once you guys have done this, you will see you now have invisible arms and you can literally change so much to the outfit. You can basically make this whole entire outfit unrecognizable except for the t-shirt. And then that's really as simple as that. As you guys can see, we've thrown together a little cool outfit and yeah, you guys can mess around with this glitch and make some cool outfits with invisible arms. And it's as simple as that. So for this next clothing glitch, I'm going to show you guys how to get the noose and police outfit. Now to get this noose outfit, what you guys will need to do is go in the description of today's video and bookmark the job. Now once you guys have bookmarked this job, you simply want to restart your game and then go to your bookmarks and go down to the last team standing and you will see it is bookmarked right there. Now I believe this job only works for PlayStation, but I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it is PlayStation only. So if you're on Xbox or PC, you could try it, but I don't think it works on those consoles or those platforms 
Anyways, once you load into this mission, you just want to invite a random person or just invite one of your friends that can help you out with this glitch. And if you don't have anyone to help you, you guys can easily just drop a comment down below asking for help. There's a lot of people that do look through the comments and they're probably down to help you guys. So just drop a comment down below. Use the comment section to your advantage and stuff like that. Anyways, once you have invited a friend to join, simply start the mission. And when you load in, all you literally need to do is open your interaction menu, go to style and then go to accessories and just equip an earpiece. You guys could equip a pair of gloves or just any accessory and it will save the outfit because all you need to do from here once you've equipped an accessory is leave the job. Once you guys load back into online you will still have the outfit on and you can just go to a clothing store and save this outfit and you guys are now done with the glitch and it's so simple bro it's crazy. So for the next glitch in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to get the CEO vest. Now, if you guys did watch the tan jogger tutorial I did, which was actually the first glitch in today's video, it's literally the exact same method as that, yet it is getting the CEO vest. So I'll re-explain it for you guys. If you guys still don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you didn't watch that glitch, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to get the CEO vest. So make your way to this clothing store right here on the map, and you guys want to go to your interaction menu, go to preferences, and set the map lip options on the stunt races to show. So you'll see this blue job right here. Once you guys see this, you want to register as a CEO. Go to the CEO style and you guys want to scroll until you find the El Jefe outfit. So for the tan joggers, it is the Warlord outfit. And for the CEO vest, it is this El Jefe outfit right here. And yeah, he does have jeans with like a red sweater top turtleneck thing on. You guys will see right here. And he's got some military hat on. Once you guys have found this outfit, you simply want to walk in the blue circle and press right D-pad to start up the race. Just like this, man. Walk in here, press right D-pad, and boom, you're loading into the race. Go ahead and confirm the settings, and then click play by yourself. Once you guys have now loaded to this part right here, where you are to, uh, put to select your vehicle, you simply just want to back out of this race. So 3, 2, 1 right here. Go ahead and just leave the job. And when you load back into online, you want to run inside the clothing store and press right D-pad to enter any of the shelves. Wait around 10 seconds and then what will happen is it will kick you guys out and it will give you guys that outfit. Now you guys can leave your CEO if you're still in one and you guys can just save this outfit and now you guys can change whatever you want to the outfit and it basically is as simple as that. So for this next clothing glitch, you guys want to make your way to any clothing store and you guys want to go up to the counter. Now you guys want to scroll down to the Arena War outfits and you'll see that there's a bunch of different sections you guys can choose from. You guys want to watch the glitch first because you probably don't know what I'm about to do. And uh, yeah, it's, I don't know how to explain this glitch, but just watch first and you guys will see. So choose any of these outfits. And then once you guys have chosen it, you guys simply want to go ahead and load into change appearance. So open your interaction menu and go to style and go to change appearance. Once you guys have now loaded into change appearance, what you guys want to do is go to apparel and go to t-shirt and just select a t-shirt. And what this does is it gets rid of the upper body part of the outfit and it keeps the legs and I think it, I don't know if it keeps the mask. No, it doesn't keep the mask, but it keeps the legs and yeah, it just looks a bit crazy. I'm not going to lie. You can't normally get it like this. So if you do want to get a funny looking outfit to troll your friends and I don't know, just walk around with this weird looking outfit on, you guys can do that. So this one is probably one of the weirdest glitches in today's video. Yeah, it's, it's a bit strange. I'm not going to lie. But hey, if you do want a funny outfit like this, you can go, go ahead and do this glitch. And keep in mind that changing your appearance does cost $100,000 on GTA 5. So if you're broke in GTA 5, you might not be able to do this glitch. So yeah, keep that in mind. But anyways, that's going to be it. Let's move on to the next glitch right now. So for the next glitch in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the black and red joggers. Now to do this, you do need a friend to help you. And you also need a MOC, which is this thing right here. And as you guys can see, this is the brand new update footage. So it's not old footage or anything and yeah this is the moc right here it's this big looking truck and you guys want to walk in the back of this moc and go up to the tv screen or the computer screen i don't actually know is it a computer or tv let me know in the comments down below i don't know man because I, I think it's a tv but who knows bro because i don't see no keyboard or anything like that but you never know they might have some advanced technology bro but hey walk up to this tv screen right here go ahead and log in and then you want to go to the work dispute mission and start this up if you don't have this mission unlocked, you need to do about 20 or 25 bunker resupply missions. So yeah, it might take you a little while to do that. Whoa, but hey, it might take you a little while to do that, man. So if you're wondering, bro, I can't be bothered doing that, bro. Just ask in the comments down below. Someone can definitely help you guys out 
and get this done for you guys but yeah if you're wondering how do you get the red basically how this mission works is the host of the mission gets black joggers the second player to join gets red the third player to join gets black and the sec uh the fourth player to join gets red so it's like black red black red that is how the mission works if you're wondering so if you want to get red you will need someone else to host it for you or yeah something like that if you're trying to get black obviously if you're the host you can just get black joggers yourself like i'm going to get in the footage and you will load in and you'll be inside of this massive plane you want to fly out and you'll be on an oppressor mark one and all you need to do from here don't complete the mission or anything you guys simply want to go over to your apartment once you guys are at your apartment you'll see the blue circle and obviously that's how you know it's your apartment you'll see the blue circle and you want to stand inside this blue circle and just do exactly what i do right here now don't make sure that the mission isn't on hard mode because then obviously you're not going to have enough team lives to do this so make sure that you yeah, yeah yeah you know what i'm saying man you know what i'm saying make sure that it is not on hard mode now once you guys have done what i've done here you guys will see that it just allows you to walk inside your apartment from here and you guys want to go to the wardrobe and simply save the outfit and then go ahead and just back out of the job and you guys already know what's about to happen next it'll still have the outfit saved on your account now you guys want to have black joggers and you can make your way to a clothing store and obviously these are the real black joggers they're not fake or anything like that there's a lot of fake methods that people post but these are the most legit black joggers that you guys can get these are the real black joggers unlike the other utility pants that people post these are real black joggers man as you guys can see it's as simple as that let's move on to the next glitch man we're, bro, we're flying through these glitches bro we're only 12 minutes in and we've already, already showed like five or six glitches i honestly don't even know but we're going crazy with it so for this next glitch, I'm going to show you guys how to get the racing gloves on your outfit. Now, normally you can't get the racing gloves on your outfit. You kind of have to equip the racing outfit and that's the only way you can really get them. But if you're wondering, bro, how do I get them on my outfit? This is how you guys are going to do it. And now keep in mind that the only unfortunate thing about this glitch is that it's only for female character. For some reason, it just does not work on male character. And yeah, who knows, man? We do not know why, but hey, it doesn't even matter, bro. It's annoying, but you know what I'm saying? It works on female characters so that's better than it not working at all so what you guys want to do is make your way to the casino and come up to these shirts at the casino and go to sweaters section and equip any of these sweaters and just purchase them, all of them if you want to if you're rich in gda you can just buy all of them it doesn't really matter but yeah purchase some of the ones that i've got purchased here and each different sweater will give you a different colored motorcycle gloves so yeah each different sweater that you guys purchase you guys will see in the glitch i don't know how to explain it but you guys will see i don't know why i say that i don't know how to explain it but i'm explaining the glitch like bro what is bro saying but as you guys can see right here it is actually after the latest dlc none of the footage in this video is old footage by the way chat every footage that i've you know every everything in this video is fairly new footage that is being recorded obviously after the chop shop dlc which is the latest dlc if you guys didn't know and yeah none of this footage is old sometimes i do use old footage but you know i've got a lot of fresh new footage now so we ain't gonna have no old footage anymore man and obviously if i am posting old footage obviously the glitch is still working i'm not just posting a patch glitch or anything like that but yeah man you guys want to make your way to any clothing store from now and you guys simply want to go to the accessory section go to gloves and you'll see that just allows you to equip these motorbike gloves and yeah you guys can experiment with this and choose whatever different sweater you guys want and then just put on some gloves and it will just let you and yeah you guys can mess around with this Let's move on to the next glitch though. We ain't wasting no time today, bro. Two more glitches to go in today's video, I think. I don't know. We'll see, man. So for the next glitch in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the flight tube on any outfit. This is another simple glitch that will literally take me 30 seconds to explain. So make your way to any clothing store, go to the outfit section at the counter, go to flight suits and equip literally any flight suit since they all have the same flight tube and yeah, equip any of these. If you're broke, you could just equip the cheapest one if you really want this flight tube. Just buy the cheapest one. It's probably not even going to matter because obviously all the flight tubes are the same color. But now what you want to do is you want to make your way over to the uh, the shoe store where you guys can actually get shoes. You know what I'm saying? Just look on the map for a, uh, a high heel boot and you guys will know what I'm talking about. But you make your way over here. Once you guys are here at the vanilla unicorn, you know what I'm saying? vanilla that's actually where you get vanilla ice cream from so if you want to get ice cream as well as well as some nice new shoes this is where you guys want to go right here and you can also get unicorns as well i think they sell unicorns i don't know something like that but you can guys get some cool stuff here and um if you got if you guys parents are ever in the room you know just walk in here and show them all the new shoes that you could get in gda 5 it's crazy bro 
But anyways, uh, besides the joke, so you want to walk inside here into the shoe store. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance and go to, oh no, what am I even saying bro? Go to, yeah, go to appearance, go to style, oh sorry, I don't even know bro. Go to appearance and then go to outfits and select the outfit you want the flight tube on. Now walk outside the clothing store, <laughs> what am I even saying bro, the shoe store. And now you guys will have the flight tube on your outfit just like that. Now you can save the outfit in any slot at a clothing store and you guys are done with the glitch. Let's move on to the final glitch for today's video. And if you're watching to this point right now, bro, just know you're an absolute legend, bro. And yeah, let me know what you thought of the video so far, bro. Because I'm not going to lie. I feel like this video is doing very good. I feel like my commentary is actually going quite well. I'm not even going to lie. But hey, let's get straight to it. So for the final glitch in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the red and gray joggers. Now this footage is literally brand new footage, man. Brand new footage. So if you're going to say, I don't think it's working, bro. It works, man. It works. Because as you guys can see, this footage is new, bro. And I'll show, I think I show proof at the end. But yeah. Anyways, man, before we continue on with the... Wait, what am I even saying, bro? I don't even know, bro. But you want to go to your facility and you need this mission right here called the Escort ULP mission. And it is one of the heist preps. So you will need this. And you also need a friend to help you guys with the mission. So you guys want to start up the Escort ULP mission right here and you want to set it to hard difficulty and then invite a friend now i recommend you guys actually invite someone that you are talking to on the mic or you can message them on whatever because if they don't know what they're doing this glitch just isn't going to work man you guys will see what i'm talking about further on in the glitch but yeah i recommend don't invite a random because there's no way they're going to know what you know they're not blah, 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 i don't even know bro. there's no way that they're going to know what to do so you know what i'm saying invite a friend and if you can't find someone, just drop a comment down below and you guys can help each other out. Anyways, once you guys have now loaded to this part where you are selecting your outfit, you can choose between grey and red joggers. Now, if I were you, I would probably go for grey joggers because this is like the only way to get them at the moment. Basically, the probably the easiest way to get them as well. And if you want red joggers, you can easily just do the black jogger glitch. But obviously, it's up to you guys. There are two different methods for the red joggers anyway. So yeah, it's up to you guys. What you want to do though, is you guys want to select the outfit you want and then go ahead and just load into the mission. When you load outside your facility, you guys just want to blow yourself up and the mission should end. If it didn't, then you didn't uh, you did not listen and you did not put the difficulty on hard mode. So put the difficulty on hard mode and then it will end the mission straight away when you die. This is perfect and you want to tell your friend to press X to continue. You guys don't want to press anything, but you want to wait until in the bottom right corner, you see the little gold loading icon. So the little circle that spins around and it's kind of like a gold, uh, you know, that's that's gold sort of color, bronzy color. You guys want to see that and then you want to disconnect your controller. So if you're on PS5 like me, you just go to press your little PlayStation button and then go to the right and you'll see the little PlayStation uh, controller icon. Click on that and then click DualSense controller or whatever it is and then just click turn off. Now, if you guys are on Xbox, I don't know how that's going to work because I'm pretty sure you guys have to take your batteries out of your controller or something. <laughs> Imagine having batteries in your controller, bro. Could not be me in 2024, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's crazy. But hey, you guys want to take your batteries out or whatever you need to do. And once you guys have disconnected your controller, you'll need your friend to tell you when you guys have loaded back into the mission. Now, you may not get it on your first try. It's not a hard thing to hit. But yeah, I somehow didn't get it on my first try. I think I got the timing wrong. But anyways, once you guys do load back into the mission and you guys are in the mission, you can reconnect your controller and you will see that you load in with nothing on your screen except for the actual gameplay. So you have no mini map, you have no, I don't even know what else, but all you need to do from here is make your way to any ammunition store and you guys want to go inside the ammunition. Go ahead and go to this middle counter right here and you guys want to equip an earpiece. Once you guys have equipped this earpiece, tell your friend to close his application. Yes, close his GTA 5 game. That's all he needs to do, man. That is all he needs to do. Now, once he has done that, you can either join a random friend on your friends list or just tell your friend to load back onto GTA so then you can go ahead and join him. And once you have joined that person, you guys should go ahead and load into their lobby and you will load in with this outfit still on your character and you guys have successfully completed the glitch. And bro, I just successfully completed the video, yes sir, but nah, honestly bro, this video has been W's, 
hopefully you guys did enjoy this top 10 clothing glitches in gta 5 online and if you're still you know messing with my vibe and stuff like that but you haven't subscribed yet man make sure you guys drop a sub because however many of you i've watched to the very end of the video bro you guys are absolute legends bro no one can keep a good uh, attention span you know what i'm saying no one can really watch to the end of these videos i mean there's a few people that do but uh yeah most people can't really just sit and watch a 21 minute video you know it's quite hard for some people it's probably hard for me as well i'm not even gonna lie but yeah i don't know how i can talk for 21 minutes straight but hey that's really it for today's video and whoever can count how many but a's i've said in today's video i'm not gonna lie bro but hey but hey but nah okay let me just be quiet appreciate all of you bro i'll see you guys in my next video let's get it bro